Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. If I see another picture of a guy holding oh a giant piece of fish, I will shoot myself Seriously. in the face. Who is my celebrity crush? <laughs> That's a lot. All right, guys, before we jump in, just a quick reminder that today is the last day that you can get the vegan health and fitness bundle. This is a collection of over 60 vegan ebooks that is sold for only $50 total, which is a massive discount of 96% off. The total value of this bundle is over $1,300, and it includes my Everyday Asian Recipes ebook, as well as many, many ebooks focused on health and fitness by other vegan creators. Topics include vegan recipes, workout guides, meal plans, going vegan tips and so much more so click the link in the description box below to purchase the bundle once again this is the last day it expires today so don't miss out the link is below hi everyone it's rose hey guys it's daniel and angela <laughs> and welcome back to cheap lazy vegan and mm. another video as you can see we have uh, two wonderful beautiful guests next to me it's a and that's one. the nicest thing i'll say today <laughs> <laughs> so true <laughs> So we have here my two best friends here. Oh, oh my god. My two uh, best friends have joined me oh. for a mukbang. What is today, Angela? An eating show. No. <laughs> you clearly don't watch my videos. <laughs> today is Munching Mondays, oh, munching. Oh, munching. which is my mukbang series. Mm. And mukbang <laughs> is an eating show. Oh god. And today we have a feast in front of us, as you can mm. see here. Oh my god. Today we're going to be eating some food from my cafe, Savage Cafe. Mm -hmm. Should I yeah. should I run through what we have in yes. front of us? Yes, you should. So we oh my god, it looks like epic. It okay, looks so good. So we've got here tapte, which is in the middle here, which is a Korean glass noodle dish. Ooh. Ooh. We have here two new dishes. This is the bulgogi right here. Mm. Bulgogi is uh, well, it's a vegan bulgogi. Yeah. So it's like soy meat with a Korean barbecue sauce. Mm. It's super yummy. And then here is our new spicy chicken bowl, but not chicken, chicken. Chicken bowl. Spicy, spicy chicken. Chicken. I need like a thing to like hold this up. Like how amazing would this be? When you said it like that, it almost sounded like you said a Korean word. Excuse me. Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> it does kind of sound yeah, Korean. Yeah. So yeah, this one is like a spicy soy, soy meat mm. sort of thing. Okay. And then we've got a bunch of dumplings here, guys. Six each. Six okay. Each, yeah. No cheating. I know. No I cheating. Know. <laughs> And then we have some rice, and uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to turn this around. What do, do you think? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? It's your show. Oh yeah, I think you it's do better that way. Yes. Do. See, see, I have the eye. You know. Mm, yes. There you go. Uh, you wait. see. Yeah. But then the dumplings did look kind of epic too. Yeah. So. I placed them. <laughs> <laughs> there. Okay. Let's. Uh, I'm just gonna cut that part out. And, uh, <laughs> so nice, Rose. Let's do a thumbnail, guys. Okay. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Does it look better like this, or does it look better the mm. other way? I think the other way. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, we figured it out. We figured it out. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do, Let's a, do a little bit of a rotation. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mukbang is easy. So it's much not work. Yeah, it's so much work, guys. Yeah. All right. So we also have. Is this mine? Yeah, you can have that one. Why? <laughs> Yay! Should we do a little sip? Cheers. Before you eat? Cheers. Cheers. You know what they say? You you want to drink wine before you eat? Mm. Why? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, nice. nice one. What's good as that? All right, guys, let's start eating and then we can talk. Yes, okay. you can have the big one. Oh, oh my. <laughs> the only thing is now these, are, the these dishes are one. harder to. Yeah, how are we gonna? How are we gonna do this? Ooh, know. look at the look at the noodle. Please don't uh, knock over the wine. Mm. I will try my best, but I can't promise anything. I can't believe we're actually doing this episode, guys. I know. Oh, I was show. I was looking forward to this. Yes. But then we were like busy and we just couldn't uh, make the time. Mm -hmm. And then today I was like, why don't we do this? I'm glad we made it happen. Yeah. Did you finish your project, Angela? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you don't have to join us, but like, you, I want you to join us, but mm. you don't have to if you have to work. Oh. She's I like, like, I want to join. <laughs> I do want to join, but I feel like I'm also intruding the savage mm -hmm. podcast crew. Oh, no. I spend enough time with him. Yeah. <laughs> Rose is sick of me, you know? <laughs> I could never get sick of Daniel. Can you guys talk every day? We pretty much. Mm. Don't we? God, so we're like dependent. Only two friends that you but like, have. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, so me and Angela also like, we talk nonstop. We talk nonstop. <laughs> we'll text when we're in our uh, rooms. rooms. Oh, God. <laughs> and she'll be like, I'm gonna go somewhere. Bye. I'm coming home now. I'm on my way. 
<laughs> it's like you guys are in a relationship, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, mm -hmm. this is what time I'm coming home. Oh, it's just so I'm bad. struggling. I'm good. Do you think I need to place everything on my mm -hmm. plate first? Are you a dermaphobe, Daniel? No. Okay. Do you think? Oh. <laughs> Not at all. Dumb question. <laughs> Oh my god, so we wanted to do a, a very narcissistic thing because, you know, mm -hmm. I'm going to be a narcissist for an episode <laughs> and do a game called Who Knows Me Better? Is it, is it Who Knows Me I Better? Yeah. Who Knows You Better? Who yeah. Knows Me Better Challenge Questions. Ooh, uh, fun! Why are you so scared? Because I, I feel like so I just, I'm like just really bad at these challenges. Like, I don't know anything about That's anyone. That's okay, Daniel. You should know. I'll judge you regardless. Should, yeah. <laughs> Oh god, I don't know what these questions are. Me neither. I'm I don't know like either. Kind of... Are they deep? Are they just basic? I don't. I feel like they're gonna be basic. Mm. <laughs> I would hope that they'll be like not too crazy. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. ones that people should get if they know you. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So. I mean, hopefully. You know, I've already What's lost. That? I've already lost track of how many dumplings I've had. I think I've just had one. I think I should just place all of them on my. Mm -hmm. plate. Oh, that's a good. Three, idea. four. How many? Five. Six. 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 Mm. Okay. How many do you already have? I think I had one. <laughs> Maybe Is two. Is that even? I haven't had any, so. You've had six. Did you so already get six? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's yours then. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I didn't only have one. Mm. I was right. Mm. Now I've had two. These are so good. Bad. They're so oh. good. Mm. I love mm. food. Yeah, mm. It's a Korean feast, guys. Yeah. Mm. I'm always craving savage food. Mm. Aw. Oh, Me man. Too. Mm. And it's so convenient. It's mm -hmm. only a minute walk, not mm -hmm. even. Mm hmm. My just reveal where, where we live. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shh. Like there are many condos around this. Mm, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Mm -hmm. mm. So I'm good. sorry, but this is so good. I love this. Um, this one. You like the spicy one? I yeah. knew you'd like that one. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. So good. Mmm. You just make this today. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Wow. So mm -hmm. when did this? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's got a kick to it, but I like it. Mm, are you gonna Are you gonna hiccup? Probably. <laughs> mm. Oh my, we need to redo that spicy noodle challenge because I really want to see you struggling again. Oh, oh god. god. But like the real time, the, do it the real way this time. Because you remember, remember mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when we when we did the challenge, apparently you're supposed to use is it less water or more water or no water? No water. Mm -hmm. We used quite a bit of water. So it was still like hella spicy. Mm -hmm. But then some people I think in the comment section were like, no, no, you did it wrong. So Rose redid it. Did two packets to herself. Oh god. And I died. Mm -hmm. Oh the Brudak Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Pokemon? Oh god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's spicy. So, when me and Daniel did it, because like the instructions did say leave some water. But maybe for the challenge you're not supposed to leave some water. Yeah. So so people were like, oh you did it like you're cheated. You, you, did, you did it the <laughs> easy way basically. So yeah. like when I did it, I thought it wasn't as spicy as I thought. But I think it was because it was diluted with water. Right. Because mm. by the end of it, we did drink all the soup and then our stomachs hurt. Oh no. It's actually so, it can't it, be good for you. No, like mm -hmm. literally, we finished the challenge, right? Uh -huh. And then I remember, like, just your stomach, you just feel like a burning mm -hmm. sensation. Oh, like, yeah. I think you have to coat your stomach with something. Yeah, you I agree. Yeah. Like, it was it was horrible. Like, I've never felt this before in my stomach. <laughs> Almost like, I don't know what I would imagine, like, heartburn or something would feel yeah. like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and yeah. then and then the fear hit me. I was like, if it hurts this much in my stomach, imagine <laughs> later on, you know? <laughs> Sorry, and, we're and, all... And, and yeah. it happens. <laughs> Did it? What happened? No, actually, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> Usually. No. Yeah. Um, so, and then, so we did that, and then because I was like, oh, I don't want to cheat on this. Yeah. Mm. So when I was by myself, I tried two packets of the Pudak mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I didn't realize how much of a difference that little bit of water made. Mm. Because as soon as I put it in my mouth, I was like, I am going to yeah. die. Yeah. Was, and I couldn't it finish worse. it. It was worse. It was so much worse. And then uh. like, and then I couldn't finish. I, I almost finished it, but mm. it was like, I was like torturing myself. And I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. There's no point. Like, if, it, yeah. if it's like that bad, then you just have to be like, okay, mm -hmm. actually, I'm going to make a judgment yeah. call here. Oh, yeah. God. And it's but I was it. so close. And, and I think the main reason why I couldn't finish it as well is because it was so spicy that I started like chugging like almond milk and stuff. Yeah. Mm. And then I was so full by the end of it that I was like, oh my God, I'm like mm. suffering. Plus, I'm so full mm. and I'm dying. So, yeah. oh, God. Why do you think these companies make these because noodles? They're it's so popular like, now. Yeah. Because do you think people actually enjoy the taste? Some, I think some people that are like mm. really like almost immune to spice. Because yeah. like some of these Korean like mukbang people are like, I swear, they don't have like... They burnt all their taste yeah, well. yeah. From all the spice, they've like yeah. burnt their taste Because well. I see them eating like the most... Because they, they've come up with more spicy noodles now mm. at this point. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And like, I can't imagine... Anything spicy or being any anything close to enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Cause it gets to the point though, because like I like spicy stuff, right? Mm -hmm. But I like it if it adds like a flavor to the dish, right? right? Mm -hmm. So it's spicy but it has a kick and mm -hmm. it's like delicious. But if it's just like 
I feel like those noodles actually did have a good flavor. Like mm -hmm. I was enjoying yeah, the yeah, flavor, yeah. but it's almost as if they were just spicy for the sake of being yeah, spicy. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not going to enjoy that. Whereas if it has a, the spice adds like something to the dish, then yeah. I'm like, okay, I actually really enjoy it. For sure. But yeah, if they made it even hotter than that, like that's just ridiculous. Cause yeah. that even, even when we did the watered down version, the instant you put it in your mouth, it was like burning, yeah. mm -hmm. burning sensation. Yeah. And I then, was like, Daniel, oh God. <laughs> so as soon as we started eating, I think, I think your hiccup thing got better though. Right? It has. Yeah. Before, anytime Daniel would eat anything spicy, mm. as soon as he put it in his mouth, he would start hiccuping. Aww. And it was so cute. It was so cute. And then he started doing that, and like every time he does it, I laugh my ass. I know. It's and so then I did a hiccup count. Mm -hmm. And then you hiccup like 70 times. Oh my god. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> It was so cute though. It's because like I love spice and I love eating spicy food, but like right. my body like just can't mm. handle it. So. I just was like, yeah. You're a little wet boy. Mm -hmm. Your body's trying to protect you. Mm -hmm. What are you putting in my body? <laughs> but I just, I honestly, I love spicy food. Like mm -hmm. I love it so much. So I have a constant internal struggle you know, <laughs> with my You've body. You've like, better though. You don't, you don't um, pick up as much anymore. I think I've like somehow built up a tolerance, but I've been mm -hmm. eating, the weird thing is, is like, I've been eating spicy food my whole life. Mm -hmm. So I wonder why now I'm starting, but maybe I do think I eat more spicy stuff now, like as in a more, more often. Mm -hmm. Whereas when I was younger, I didn't as much. Mm. So I think I you're mean, right. you're British, so your level of what you consider spice. <laughs> no hey, offense to British people. <laughs> it's it's changed because I remember I used to like, for example, when I was in um, the UK, I used to go and get things, and I'd be like, oh, do you have hot sauce or whatever? Or mm. you know how they sometimes say, oh, this is a really hot spicy dish mm -hmm. or whatever, and you'd get it, and I'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, this isn't really that spicy, mm -hmm. is it? And I remember mm, in Glasgow, I went to this Thai restaurant with my Thai friends, mm -hmm. and we went there. And we got papaya salad, which is like traditional Thai salad. It's supposed to be really spicy. Mm. And I remember we got it and we were eating it and we were just like, there's something like it didn't, it wasn't spicy at all. So the, the, my friend actually talked to the server who was also Thai. And so mm. she talked to her in Thai and was like, oh God. what is this? Like, and then she's like, oh, I didn't realize you guys were Thai. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll go and make the chef, like make it spicy for you guys. Like properly yeah. papaya mm -hmm. salad. Cause I guess they, they kind of toned it down a bit. And then how was it? Then it was spicy after. Was it too mm. spicy then? No, no, no. It was, mm -hmm. a, it was a good level. Yeah. They have, they have the Thai level mm -hmm. and then they have the non-Thai level, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Compared to like, um, spicy the rice cakes that you made the other day mm. from rose rose's recipe mm. yeah is that considered spicy for you no i don't think that that's, mm. that's uh -huh. spicy no. i guess you can also control the level yeah you're like, putting... i put like, did your parents I, like it yeah they loved it yeah. they were like my mom was like my mom she can't handle spice very well she still ate it and she's like i love the my dad's like i love the flavors oh. um but then my mom was like yeah just if it was a little bit less spicy then oh. she would have enjoyed it because <laughs> i feel like with using that 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 paste yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like it's got different kind of, pardon me, a different kind of spice that oh. kind of like hits the back of your throat mm. sometimes. So what? yeah, I don't know, but maybe that's just the you know the wat boy, oh, made, yeah. you know. But I love honestly the flavor of the mm -hmm. temboki is like so good. One oh. of my favorite dishes. Mm -hmm. And those rice cakes, yeah. oh. Mm -hmm. so chewy. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> yep. Mm. Oh, man. I'm so proud that you actually went and bought rice cakes. Mm -hmm. and did you need help or did you just <laughs> find them? No, I did it all myself. Oh. Went, went to TNT. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. I was actually going to take a stab at making some more kimchi, but they didn't have the, um, when I went to TNT, they were sold out of those um, red pepper flakes. Mm. Wrong. Yeah. Necessity. Mm. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, I can't make it without this, so. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think? Food good? Very yeah, good. Yeah, so mm. good. I actually really I wish like I brought more food. Mm. We'll finish this and we'll mm. be nice and full. And then we'll, we'll just we? fill it up with more, you know, wine. More wine? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, add more calories. Yeah. I prepared this and then I had, I had a list of things I wanted to bring. Mm. And the one thing I missed was like, cause I wanted to bring the lentil pancakes. Oh, they're so good. Oh. Cause those are so good. Mm -hmm. And I know you really like them. And, yeah. I, and it, they'd be a good side, right? Mm -hmm. But then I forgot. And then I was like, damn it. I was like, we don't have enough food. Oh God. E even though I knew I brought three dishes. Yeah. Mm. And like lots of dumplings. So I was like, to, to a normal person. Yeah. Be like, oh, that's enough food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We but eat then, a lot. Yeah, so I was like, oh my god, it's not enough food. We're, we're gonna be hungry. <laughs> it's funny. Those those lentil, is it like pancakes? lentil pancakes? Yeah. Mm. Oh, they're so good. So I was like talking to my parents the other day because they came into Rose's Cafe. And they really like those. Right? And my dad is like, I'm obsessed with them. We need, to, we need to go back just for those pancakes. I was like, dad, you need to calm down. He's like, no, those were so good. Mm. And he's like, I like how when I ordered them, all everyone just, because me and my mom were like eating, eating like mm. the pancakes as well. He's like, everyone just ate them. I barely got any. <laughs> I was like, calm down. You still had a lot of pancake, Dad. Like, <clears throat> Aww, that's so cute. 
That was really good though. But even, yeah, my friends, they try the glass noodles and mm. they're like, oh my God, I'm craving mm -hmm. it so much. Oh God. So, you know, so visit good. Savage Cafe. <laughs> so if, if, if any of the, uh, listen, not listen, I'm so used to saying listeners now mm, yeah. from mm. the podcast, but if any of the people that are watching this on YouTube are based in Calgary, then you should definitely mosey on down to uh, Savage Cafe. <laughs> Did anyone ask for your autograph or anything? <laughs> You're a celebrity. There was, You're a YouTube star. Mm -hmm. There was maybe like one time when somebody asked me for like an <laughs> autograph and I was like, what? Mm. Uh, but like usually it's, it's more like pictures. Yeah. yeah. It's more like pictures, but I you're remember, famous. Mm -hmm. No. I remember seeing some people that were like, I don't know if it was on the Instagram or on YouTube, but they commented that they literally like flew into Calgary and like came straight to your cafe. Aww. Yeah. I can't I've, I've had people like that, but I don't know if it's necessarily people that know me, but people like, cause like people will search out vegan cafes mm. and um, if they're like traveling from elsewhere, they'll like search it up and then just come straight to the cafe. Mm -hmm. But it's not necessarily just people that know who I am. It's mm. just people that find the cafe. But this, is the, <laughs> this is the thing about vegans though, is they're always like, before they go to a place. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do the research. They do the yes, research. Like the thing about when we travel, we're always mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. we'll be like, oh, what, what places should we go? Where do we yeah. want to try? We'll look at all the pictures <laughs> yeah. of the of food. Yeah. I base everything around the food. Mm -hmm. So basically I'm like, okay, so I want to try these places. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at the neighborhoods and we yeah. Like when we went to New York, I was like, yeah. okay, so let me strategically, <laughs> yes. yeah, strategically plan this. You exactly <laughs> every single day, every single meal. <laughs> I, mean, oh, I miss New York. Yeah, New York was good. I've never been. Oh my god, we you've never. <laughs> Why are you now I'm judging? What? <laughs> People, you guys judge me for not going to Europe. I don't judge you for not going to New York. The, the thing is, I don't know why I've never gone to New York because, like, it's quite easy to get there from Calgary. Mm -hmm. And New York's just a big city, though. True, but like, it's, it's uh, fun. Mm. yeah, it's a cool mm -hmm. place. Like, it's a really cool city. Um, and I have like friends that live there, so yeah. I don't know why I've never never moseyed on over down there. Mosey on. Mosey. I don't know why I'm saying that now. This oh, is, like, you sound like a, you're, you sound like a like a dad. <laughs> oh God. Let's mosey on over, oh, Daniel. <laughs> Because I'm getting old Is this old how your dad now. talks? Maybe. maybe well, let's move you on over to Rose's Cafe. <laughs> that's is probably what he said. And eat those scrumptious pancakes. Yes. <laughs> and this time, Daniel, you're ordering your own because I want to have all the fun to myself. You're so cute. Yeah, but I guess we're not going to go there anytime soon. Go where? New York. New York. Yeah. I know. Oh my God. I wonder what's going on. It's crazy. Though. I can't stop talking about COVID. Is this bad? Mm -mm. This is everybody we're just though. talking about mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on everybody's mind. It's mm. like the situation. Like, it's unavoidable, you know? Mm -hmm. So... I heard New York has gotten a lot better though. Yeah. Because mm. it's like, it was the first to be hit, right? Mm. Yeah. Well, I think if like, if people just start like respecting the rules mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. and doing the masks and the sanitization, all mm -hmm. that. Cause like, look at places like, well, Korea is like a really good example. Mm. Like they, they still had like movie theaters open, things like yeah. that. Like, they, and they, they never really went into shutdown exactly. completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, if they can do it, why can't we? But also apparently, <laughs> I told you the kimchi thing, right? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently eating kimchi, um, Increases your chance of surviving COVID. Yeah, I didn't well, know they that. Said, they <laughs> yeah. said, they, fermented food. Fermented food. Any fermented oh. foods. So countries that I mean, again, I don't know how in depth yeah. this study was, right. but they said that. Let me just find it. I looked. Fermented yeah. food is really good for your gut health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's you good. For and a lot it's good for overall things, health. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So and kimchi, kimchi is and COVID. <laughs> oh God. Mm -hmm. Kimchi protects against COVID, a study says. Wow. A recent study has pointed to kimchi for low COVID-19 fatality rates of South Korea. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Dr. Jean Bousquet, honorary professor of pulmonary medicine at Montpellier University Whoa. in France. Oh, fancy. Uh, and his team studied a link between low fatalities and national dietary differences and found that countries where fermented cabbage forms a key part of their diet have had lower fatalities. Oh. So apparently it helps decrease levels of ACE2, an enzyme in the cell membrane mostly found in lungs, okay. that is used by COVID-19 as an entry point into the body. Consuming mm -hmm. high levels of fermented cabbage brings down the number of ACE2, making it more difficult for the virus to enter the body. High in antioxidants, fermented cabbage is also good for boosting immunity. There you go, wow. guys. Wow. And that explains, honestly, that was like my theory. Honestly, yeah. me, and, me and my parents, we talked about this a yeah. lot, where we're like, in the beginning, especially when COVID was hit really hard in Korea, right? Yeah. But like, not many people died, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, even now, I think it's only like a few hundred deaths. Not even. It's a very different scale of freak out. Mm. Right. So as soon as like, like for example, my parents were like, yeah, it's starting to go up in Korea again and I looked and it was like 20 cases a day and I'm like um, ah. so then in the beginning I was like oh my god I wonder you know I was like it must be something to do with the diet like yeah. it just doesn't make sense mm. because it's not like they were um again they, they had like bars open yeah they had like <clears throat> so they weren't fully 100% like always adhering to some sort of you know distancing yeah. guidelines 
But then, and, still, and it was does, so low. Does Korea also have, like, a similar, like, because, you know, like, Italy and places like that, they had a higher death rate, but because they have, like, a very much uh, an older population. But Korea also has a pretty old population. Yeah, mm-hmm. Korea that's, that's what I was yeah. Is, like, they have an older yeah. population, but they right. still didn't experience the it's same. It's all that kimchi that they've been yeah. eating for, for decades. And I think garlic. Yeah, garlic yeah. as well, I think. Garlic's supposed to be good for you. Yeah, I was like, it's it has to do... kimchi with- parties. <laughs> It, yeah. it has to do with diet. Diet it makes a big difference. Mm-hmm. 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 I really, I really like this barbecue mm-hmm. one as well. Mm-hmm. They're all good. Mm-hmm. Mm. And also, mm. countries with like lower obesity could also have less death rate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Just physical conditions overall. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they said mm-hmm. like a lot of the people that have, and again, I don't know the full statistics, but a lot, mm-hmm. of, a lot of the people that did die from from COVID, it's you know that a lot of them have pre-existing conditions mm-hmm. or. Yeah. You know, maybe they were, I don't know, having an unhealthy mm-hmm. or unhealthier lifestyle. I don't know. But obviously that's not everyone. There's mm-hmm. some rare cases. So I don't want to like oh, put God. that out there and be like, you know, these are the reasons. And that's not the case. Yeah. But I think statistically it does. If you have a more healthy of lifestyle course, yeah. and doing that kind of stuff, it prevents not just from like COVID, but also other stuff as well. Yeah, yeah right? for so sure. It's going to naturally decrease your chances. But then remember what that doctor said about some people that, some people, again, I don't know. Mm. I don't think this is very common, but some... <laughs> But some people that have like very strong immune system, mm-hmm. apparently there's a something, I can't remember what it was called, but there's something where the whatever virus comes in and then your immune system, because it's so strong, it starts like fighting against the virus. Yeah. But it starts almost like confusing the virus with other things. So it starts attacking uh, organs. Mm-hmm. What hyper, was hyper is it hyperimmune? No. I not hyperimmune. It's like I know exactly what you're talking about, where it's like your yeah. immune system is so Strong. strong that basically when a virus does come it goes crazy and mm-hmm. it starts attacking that but also starts attacking your healthy cells as well mm-hmm. and you can have like an and an, people die yeah. from that oh gosh so basically you want to be strong but not too strong no. <laughs> we're good guys balance we drink alcohol so yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. brings our health down a little bit <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy though hey that is pretty like, to even think about like mm. this whole situation is crazy mm-hmm. it's crazy. oh Scary. my god guys I'm sorry I didn't bring enough food no no this is okay. I think this is perfect it's good I think that once we're done this, we will have eaten and will eat, eaten a normal amount. Yes. You know? Mm-hmm. A healthy amount. We need to amount. not overeat. Exactly. Yes. But overeating is so fun. No. So fun. <laughs> What's the point of mukbang if I'm not in pain at the end? <laughs> and you can't breathe. <laughs> and Daniel, I heard you can eat a lot. So I can't eat a lot, actually. I was looking forward to you eating oh, God. next time. All of us can month. eat a lot. Yeah. Should we order more food? We all, we, we all have a very healthy appetite, you know? We really do. Mm. We're active, you know? I think mm-hmm. we want to eat. This is true, actually. Actually, mm-hmm. this is a very good point because I remember mm-hmm. at work, one of my friends, um, this was back in London, she was like super into fitness and stuff. Mm-hmm. And she was like calculating, she does a lot of stuff with like calorie consumption mm-hmm. and all this. I'm not necessarily recommending it, but right. she did say, for example, like when I was in London, I was like hitting the gym like four or five times a week. And when you're that level of activity, actually you need to consume more calories. Of course. Because you're constantly, your body's constantly going, yeah. go, yeah. go. So yeah. It does exactly. make sense, yeah. And we're all pretty active people, mm-hmm. so. Yeah. <clears throat> I calories think. in, calories out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm kind of, of every video. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with this whole calories in, calories out right yeah. now. Mm. Because of this Fitbit. Yes. So I, I kind of know how much calories I'm yes. burning. Yes. How many steps have you done today? Uh, I've only done 1,100. You? God, 7,500. Oh, not what? very good today. <laughs> On days when I'm just like kind of sitting at home doing not much, which isn't many days, Yeah. Um, I'll burn like maybe like less than 2,000 calories sometimes. Mm. But then as soon as I start walking and doing stuff, and like on days when I'm working at the cafe and like busy and then working out, maybe walking a bit, yeah. I can burn like, I don't know. A lot more. 2,800, 3,000 sometimes. Mm. Like, you okay there? Yeah, I just You're wasting a grain of grass. <laughs> People don't mind me talking about calories, so. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. People <laughs> be mad. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, we didn't even, we're so hungry that we didn't even do the, the, the game. Quiz. Let's, Cheers, let's do it after this. Let's do a quiz. Cheers. Hold on. I feel like it's a game for, mm. Mm. A game for a what? Bit, a bit more after we've had a little sip of the wine, getting the juices. Oh, I wish flowing. I had. Um, I wish I had a mm. dessert. Mm. I was thinking of what we, what else we can eat. Mm. But <laughs> literally have nothing. <laughs> we have no food. No. God, we have no self control either. Mm. No, but honestly, I was so hungry. I was really hungry too. I think we just need to let the food sit yeah. for a minute, and then yeah. we'll be Daniel fine. being. Yes. See, me and me and Adol have no self control. Like, <laughs> more, more. <laughs> But you know, they, they, there's that saying, I don't know how accurate it is, but they said, like, for example, it takes your body 20 certain, minutes, 20 minutes yeah. To, yeah. to register that you've eaten it's, enough it, I think it's kind of true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's true. That's how people tell you to eat slower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I eat yeah. so fast. I also, I also <laughs> eat so yes. fast. Me too. It's just, I saw patience. I used to, like, back in the day when I was, like, really hardcore dieting, which I don't mm-hmm. recommend at that time, yeah. I would 
purposely eat the problem was that I was eating so little right so I would purposely eat a small amount of food but I would look at the clock and make sure I was eating it in 20 minutes Oh and it gosh. would feel like forever. Yeah. I'm like, how do people do wow. this? Wow. But this is why people that eat slowly are generally like leaner. If you take a longer time to eat, you definitely don't eat as much, I think. I've never taken a longer time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I, remember I never ever do that, which is so bad. <laughs> well, I feel like, for example, if I'm like sitting and I'm mm -hmm. talking to one person and then we're like talking and talking and talking, we take a little bit longer to eat. True. Maybe not mm -hmm. when I'm with you or you, mm -hmm. no. but when I'm with other normal people that eat at a you know, normal, healthy pace, um, I think I, I think I'd be talking a bit and then mm -hmm. I eat and I'm talking, I eat, and then by the time that I'm done eating, mm -hmm. I'm like pretty full, even though I didn't eat as much as I True. normally would. But I think also, like, I, I don't know about you, but I've perfected the the art of being able to talk a lot and still eat fast. <laughs> Somehow, I don't even know how I do it. I'll be, like, talking the whole time. And I'll I be think like, it's the mukbangs that train you. Because, true, yeah. Because before, when we used to film mukbang, yeah. um, I would do most of the oh, eating, yeah. and Daniel would do most of the talking. That's and then he realized yeah. that without speeding up his eating, he can't uh, eat everything. No, so. I can't eat as much food. Because <laughs> Rose eats it all. And it's funny, because even in the comments section, everyone's like, whoa. Rose, Rose is over... Rose out ate yeah. Daniel. That poor poor Daniel, he didn't get I any can, food. <laughs> oh I can out eat like men. See, <laughs> I was expecting this and you were eating so quickly and talking a lot. Yeah, see, he's trained himself. He's trained himself. We just attacked portion. this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, we did. We did. I should have yeah. brought double the portion. Poof. Oh gosh. It's all good. No, it was no. so good. I, I really, really enjoyed mm -hmm. it. It was really good. All right, yeah. so let's do this test. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. I'm so okay. nervous. I'm a little nervous too. Yeah. I don't even know. Okay, let's just see here. Did what is so. my zodiac sign? Um, oh. Libra. Libra. Yeah, it is Libra. Uh, wait, what is? Do oh, no, wait, how do I we... think you have to write this down. Oh shoot, yeah. Oh. Should... So then you can't like copy. Oh yeah, of course. Oh. No, no, no. But I remember. I remember it as Libra. Yes, it is you're in Libra. October. Good job, you guys both got it right. Okay, okay. so Ashley so got the point because she got it first. Sure, sure, sure. Ooh, I don't know if you'll know this. Oh, how gosh. many siblings do each of my parents have? That's a hard <laughs> one. <laughs> Come on, guys. My... <laughs> Does your dad have more or mom have more? I'm not gonna give you a hint. Why? Oh, I don't remember. Okay, I have my answer locked in. Okay, it's locked. Too. Locked. It's locked. locked. Okay. okay, tell me. Oh, God. Your mom has four. Your dad has six <laughs> siblings. Okay, continue. <laughs> my mom has one sibling. And dad has two. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. I am shocked at how little you know about me. No, but I remember I remember us talking about it. But uh, like, yeah, we've talked about this many times. That's true. Oh God. I knew this, this is a bad quiz to do. Can we do something else? I don't want to play this game anymore. I'm actually in shock. Oh, I don't want to play this game anymore. Okay, well, um, Angela wins, but Were you my right? mom Were you has right? no, my mom has three siblings. Oh, so close. My dad has hold on, wait. One, two, three, four. Six siblings. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh! So, so not two. <laughs> the, how did you even? How two. did you even think <laughs> that it was two? I don't know. I've I, told you many stories about like my youngest aunt, I know. my second youngest aunt, my uncle. I was confused under pressure, so I just. Oh, I, I Daniel, you're I so full of shit. Oh, no, you just don't listen to anything I say, oh, Daniel. God. Oh my god, this is a bug. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I hate this quiz already. Oh gosh. But I should have put up higher numbers. I knew it was more. But <laughs> did I, you, I, I did felt, you really? I felt a lot of pressure. I was really yes. stressed. You just blanked One. out. You know? Okay, fine. I um, Let's see. What was my least favorite subject in school? Oh, I feel like Daniel would know this. I don't. I didn't go to school with you. Okay, hold Daniel on. didn't go to school. No, I that's different. We went either. to university yeah. together. Oh, oh in sorry, when high school? school? No, like least school? favorite subject just in school. But I think that in means general? before university. Oh. Mm. I don't even Ooh, know. I know. I think I know. I think I know, I what think I know what my answer. Okay, mine's locked okay, in. Hold on. Oh, I, I know. I don't know if this is considered as a subject. Okay, I know. Okay, write it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, do you want me yeah. to go first this time? Okay, you go first. So I think your least favorite subject was gym. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> job. It was called. PE, right? Yeah, yeah, I think it was. I'm sure there was other classes I didn't yeah, like, but yeah. it was like the one class. thing I was like the most self-conscious about. Yeah, I remember yes. you told me about how much yes. you love sports, mm. so <laughs> I was like, it has to be gym. If it's not gym, then I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm still like that. I still hate, uh, no, I don't hate physical activity. That's mm. the difference. I yeah. hated I, PE too, though. Really? Like beep tests. Did you guys ever have to do oh, beep yeah, tests? Oh, yeah. Is that where you like run and Yes, and like go back and you run again and go back. 
Beep. Yes, Ooh, I think worst. I almost preferred that over uh, cross country. No, over um, any sort of team sport because um, I always felt like I was the worst. Like soccer mm -hmm. or football. Or, yes, or... I was always the worst, and okay. I always got picked last. That was oh, good. See? You. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you know that uh, <laughs> that part. <laughs> oh God. Hmm. Oh my God. Some of these are so bad. Who comes up with these dumb? Question. There were 300 something of them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kill it. Have I ever been on a cruise? <laughs> you have your answer locked in? I think so. So I said no. I said no. I have been on a cruise. You what? Have I have been on a cruise. What? When I was in high school, Angela. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was in grade 12 mm -hmm. and we went to Orlando and mm -hmm. then we went to like me and my family. Yeah. It was for like New Year's and it was like a cruise to the Bahamas. Um, and then I did not know this. this. It was like one of those weird things that I think my parents got scammed into. Oh. <laughs> it was like one of those calls where they're like, "You, you win a, a cruise." A free and vacation. Like, Done. I mean, we did go at the end, and yeah. I think, but the, I think the only caveat was like we had to like they had to do like a timeshare meeting or something. Mm. But they did pay for like the cruise part. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, the cruise, New Year's. It was New Year's. Went to Disney World. Did you have a good time? Um, cruises are lame. Yeah. <laughs> How long was it? It wasn't that long. I think it was like. Maybe a couple nights. I can't remember honestly. Yeah. Um, I but feel like I would enjoy a, a cruise. Yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, no. Because no. no. you're just kind of stuck, stuck on a boat, there. right? Yeah. And then you have like time. You stop on the island, and you're like, you yeah. have like, you have two yeah. hours. Go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the problem is that also because we got off in the Bahamas, and you're like, you know, you see, you know that image of Bahamas that you have mm. with yes. that beautiful hotel. Yes. But it's like when you're on the cruise, you're not going. You're not you're in not the hotel or yeah. the resort. Mm. So you're just kind of walking around the Bahamas, which is still kind of cool. Yeah. But like the beaches and stuff. Because they're like not private beaches, they're not that nice, oh, which okay. is sad. So you kind of see that other side and you're like, yeah. oh, it's actually kind of like dirty and like you don't take care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when you go to that hotel, I'm sure it's like absolutely You're like, yes. wow, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I heard about Bali. Bali is some, yeah. some sort of like, the resort area is really pretty yeah. and nice. But and then when the you get rest out of, of that, that, it's just kind of... It's, yeah. I think for Bali, it depends on like where you are. Sure. Like some neighborhoods are nice, like mm. Ubud is really nice. Mm. Um, but then yeah, I'm sure like the beaches and stuff. This is the problem with like those private Horsey, beaches. Yes. Yeah. Oh God. Anyways, sip time. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I feel like I'm just drinking. I'm really enjoying this one. I think you just like alcohol. Yeah. Every, every time Angela drinks, every time Angela <laughs> drinks something, she's like, oh my god, so this good. is so good. That's true, actually. <laughs> so good. When we had our beer, I don't know what beer to do with earlier. Beer. Yeah, okay. And then she was at Kelowna, and she's like, oh my god. <laughs> this cider. This cider is the best cider I've ever had. It's so good. I'll never drink anything else. Oh and then my god. the next time. It is good. <laughs> okay. It was good. It was good. The only thing I don't like is the bud and AGD that we were talking about. My Angela is very cute. She gets very uh, excited about a lot of like little things, you know? <laughs> so when we travel, it's like there's. Oh. She would always say like, there's this term in Korean. It's called like, shingihe. And that means they were like, it's like, oh wow, I'm amazed. Okay. And she says it about like everything. Sounds kind of like me as well. Yeah, she <laughs> You guys are like similar in that. Like Daniel will always be like, oh my god. This is so this beautiful. This is like so amazing. Can you tell the story of Sunderland? Oh, oh yeah. So basically I was with some of my friends. And yeah. um, for those of you watching who live in the UK, you'll know Sunderland. Um, and Sunderland is, it's a bit of a rougher city. And it's yeah. not really that photogenic and stuff. Anyway, so we were driving through Sunderland. There's some parts that are really nice. And we get to this like one little area. And I was like, it was like there was a little statue and a little plaza. And I was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. My friend's like, this is like the Shittiest part of this city. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I was like, well, it looked beautiful oh to me. God. That would be me. Aww, it's cute. We enjoy your positivity. Oh, God. So I can tear it down. Yep. So you can break, break it down, Rose. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. How many countries have I traveled to? I just recently counted this. Oh, so God. I know. Hold on. Give us time. I will countries. give you time. How many countries have I traveled to? Okay, I'm going to take a stab. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's gonna be impossible. I think it's gonna be impossible for us to. Yeah. I'm gonna get whoever gets the closest. Okay. 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 I've locked mine in. Okay. <laughs> it's like we're on a game show. You yeah. know what I mean? Is your answer locked in? It's locked in. What is, what is 10 countries? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I said 46. Ooh. What did you say? 40. Don't. You can't change your answer now. You can't Are change you changing your, it. You can't change you your change, answer. Angela's you changing it. You can't do that. Did you change it? You said locked in. <laughs> it deleted. <laughs> what was it? Do not lie. Do not lie. I said like 23. <laughs> Who do you think's closer, guys? Well, I know who's closer. Okay, I don't know my 
geography very well, okay, guys? The reason I know this is because I remember having a conversation with Rose <laughs> yeah. about the number of countries, and I think I was like, this was a couple years ago even, and I was yeah. like, oh, I'm, I really want to hit 30 countries before I'm 30. Mm. And then I remember Rose being like, you haven't been to 30 countries. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I was not that judgmental. I, yeah, I probably you were. Was. And, then, and then I was like, oh, okay, so she's over 30. And then and then I just figured, well, she must be... You want to know the number? Yeah. Let me take a bite first. Okay. I can't Enjoy that. 46. But I mean, that could be wrong. I think it maybe it's less 41. Is it 40? I was going to put 41. 41? Yeah, that was my first guess. Oh, really? Yeah, I was going to say 41, but I changed it to 46. What? Yeah. It's because yeah, you went to Europe. Mm -hmm. See, I don't want. I don't. Want I recently geography. counted. Yeah, this is the thing. When you go That's to Europe, so it's so easy to get to mm -hmm. so many countries because mm -hmm. you do one little trip in Europe and you'll cover six countries. Mm -hmm. You know, like so. I think I need to like that oh, do you, many. You want, me, you want me to get some? More? Yes, please. Okay, can you right. can you get through? Actually, maybe I should go. No, no, I can. I can go. I can you go. Um, I'm gonna bring the other wine just because I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. Do we need a wine opener as well? Screw. Yeah, that one's a little bit. Mm -hmm. Pardon me, the other one. Woo! Rude! Excuse yourself, mister. Excuse me. No, no, no. You know, you know um, actually burping is a compliment to the chef. <laughs> it means that I thoroughly enjoyed in, the meal. In what countries? I don't know. In, in every country that I've been to. Well, <laughs> it definitely isn't in Canada. Is it not? <laughs> no, I agree. It, 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 it it's should a be compliment. A it shows that I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's sitting nicely in my belly. <laughs> and it's just digesting. So it's thank yummy. you so much for the food. Oh, you're thank welcome. Bro, you're just the food is delicious. Oh, <laughs> All right, folks. Let mm. me pour myself some more wine. Get some, get some wine in there, and then we get we were gonna move on to another question. Another yes. question. Wait, what's the? Who, this is fun. Can we keep track? Who's uh, winning so far? I think we're tied. Okay, wait. Yeah. So you yeah. guessed abys abysmally with the siblings of yes. my parents. And you got and Angela got the point. Angela there. got it better. She um, also got the the sign faster than I did. Because remember, yeah, we that's true. Right so that's two for you. Then we both got the gym class, so that's one point mm -hmm. each. Yeah. But Angela's still ahead by two. And then we, I got the countries one. Yes. So Angela's okay. ahead by uh, one. one. Okay. Mm. Have I ever gone fishing? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay, I locked mine in. Okay, so what's, yes. I'm going to say yes as well. Yes, I have. Whoa! It's been a long time. I went ice fishing multiple times. Like really? Ice fishing? A lot of people go ice fishing. Yeah. Here. And it was, it was the... never enjoyable. No. I don't know why what my parents dragged me to go ice fishing. Can yeah. I just rant about ice yes. fishing? Yeah. It is rant the dumbest time. thing I've ever done. It is so stupid. <laughs> Whoever goes ice fishing, like you need to stop. It's a waste of your time. You're torturing animals for no reason. Yeah. And then you just like, so you go, you've been, right? No, I've never been ice fishing. You've never been ice fishing? I've been fishing, well, you're but not I've never missing out ice fished. <laughs> you go, go on go, this like giant piece. You go on this giant piece of like ice, okay? Mm -hmm. God, you guys, I, I'm, people are gonna be like, you starved your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, We're yeah, like yeah. scraping the scraps <laughs> off the Should bottom. Should we order of the pizza? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, you go and then you you like drill this like giant like not giant like this little hole into the freaking ice. ice. Yeah. And then you sit there, put like a piece of cheese on like a little like thing hook, uh -huh. yeah. and then you just put it there, and then you wait. And you're freezing cold. Your feet are like frozen. Because mm -hmm. it's like, if you're, you're out there for like hours. Yes. Do they sometimes put a tent over you though? Where you're in a tent and then- Oh no, I've never done it like freezing. that. That's like a hard right? Oh, you've done it like that? No, 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 I've, I've never done it. So we just yeah. sit around this like little hole. Yeah. And then just wait for a little tug. Yeah. And then once you get the tug, you're like, ah! Oh, oh. Did your parents enjoy it? I don't even know if they enjoyed it. I feel like we just did it just because you just it's do it so, because yeah. it's like yeah. But don't do it. To do. Maybe because it's like a Canadian thing as well. Yeah. If I see another picture of a guy holding oh a giant piece of fish, I will shoot myself Seriously. in the face. Why like, is that a thing? Why? I, it, I don't. Care. Again, not what not to do on a <laughs> what not to do on a yeah. dating app. <laughs> Oh god, there is so. You know what though? You're right. Like when you compare the dating apps to London mm -hmm. and other places. So you, I came back here and I'm like going through the pictures and like there's just so many guys that are just like they're holding a giant fish. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, is it's this just turn off? Is this like a new? Is this like a mandatory thing? Like, do I have to have one of those in my profile? Like everyone uh, as soon has as it? I see it, swipe left. Yeah. And then swipe now the gone. new thing is having a mask over your face. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I gotta have the mask. Okay. The what? ones that are like scratch the friends like faces out. Oh. Can you just take a normal photo yeah. of yourself? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, in the in the world of technology, you couldn't somehow take one yeah. photo of yourself? Exactly. This is, oh, that's another pet peeve when they have all group photos, yeah. and you don't know which one it is. Yes, like, I'm like, like uh, okay. do you not ever have a photo oh, just of you? Like, of this makes no sense. Take a selfie. Not. In many years of existence, you've mm. never taken a photo of yourself? Like, no. But no. I know, that's, that's a whole other topic. <laughs> okay. Clearly something we're all passionate about. Yeah. Oh god. I feel like they just like put stuff in here just for... Just for and giggles. Yeah. You could ask your own, you know? 
You, you have could, to follow you the have guidelines. It. Yeah. But I can't think of anything because I'm not in my creative mindset yet, you know? <laughs> you just see your eating. <laughs> what is my favorite meal of the day? What? Oh. Like, what like, like breakfast, lunch, lunch or dinner? Mm. I think I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm taking a complete guess on this one. <laughs> well, apparently you're guessing at most of these things. So. <laughs> okay, what is, what, is the, what, what is the answer, my friend? So I said dinner. Breakfast. Dinner. What? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's mine, though, Angela. What? <laughs> breakfast, what breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. Oh, it yeah. is. Is it really? Yeah. Why I love it. It was, it was breakfast because you always eat breakfast. Yeah, but first thing, thing you wake up in the morning, that, you're like, that's because it's, I need to eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're always like making yeah. stuff in the kitchen. I'm like, <laughs> do you need to eat like right when you wake up? Yes. Well, okay, to be fair, usually I make food because I don't have time later, yeah. okay? And also, sometimes I'm actually making food for a video or something, okay? So what's your reasoning, though? Why do you like dinner the best? I don't know. Dinner's just always the you best. you can drink wine. I don't, no, it's just like, I like, I think I like the idea of dinner. Like, first of all, breakfast, like, I, I, I like all meals, obviously. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. But breakfast, my stomach is, you know, believe it or not, a little bit smaller <laughs> okay. in the morning, okay? <laughs> smaller so I can't eat as much mm. okay so mm. basically um, I'm I'll not as more. yeah mm. I, I want to eat more basically yeah. and the yeah. dinner is just like you know you can just feast yeah, yeah. True. And, you, know, you, you don't really time. yeah mm. cooking it. yeah breakfast is more like you know I just need to like feed myself quickly yeah. you know Would you so, like yeah. to do the honors right? yes I see the reason the reason I like breakfast is my favorite meal I do like I like all meals again yeah but the reason I like breakfast is because like oh thank you when I go out for breakfast, yeah. I, I just feel like it's more like what I like to go out for. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And the reason I like to go out for breakfast, or even having breakfast at like a friend's house or something. Yeah. Is like I a just, brunch? I, you're like a brunch. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just such a relaxed atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You have a nice coffee. It's very mm -hmm. slow paced. Whereas dinner, yeah. quite often, it's like you're going to get dressed up. Mm -hmm. It's right. a little bit more of an event. I still yes. enjoy dinner, but breakfast, right. I just love how casual it is. Right. Yeah. yeah but you're thinking about the, like, what about like food wise? Do you like breakfast food better than dinner food, you think? No, I think food wise, breakfast, yeah. I you, feel you like. Just, like the atmosphere. I like the atmosphere. Mm. That's why I love breakfast. Oh, you but must yeah. have a lot of brunches with friends because right. I almost never do. I love brunches. You always go for brunches. Why well, have black ball really in you? Really, really, really. <laughs> No, but like brunch is like a big thing in Calgary. Yeah. And I, I mean, yes. I used the to go mimosas all the time. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, we, we should, should go, go for brunch. brunch. We never go, go for brunch. brunch. I'm well, so you down. Know, I mean, we do sure. serve brunch at Savage Cafe, but yeah. I mean, and I've been there. I've, oh, you have. I've been there for brunch. So yeah, but we should we should go when I'm not working, so we can all sit mm -hmm. and talk and chat. Exactly. Yes. This is why I love love mm. breakfast because or brunch because it's like very relaxed. Mm -hmm. You have a coffee, mm -hmm. just chill. See, you know the problem is if you don't go to a vegan place for brunch. There's not a lot of yeah. The option is scrambled tofu, and it's usually like not good. eighteen dollars yeah, for like bucks, nothing. Yeah. Like, and our scrambled tofu is better. Mm. Okay, but yeah. we don't serve alcohol, so that's the only mm. bad thing. <laughs> true, true. Hopefully that can change. Oh future. God, maybe yeah. one day. Yes. Maybe one day. Yes. I can't oh, wait. God, I can't so wait many... for the next one. I'm the suspense. Is I thought you hated me. this. <laughs> I feel like now I'm you're getting... like, oh, competition's I, on. I, I, competition's <laughs> on. What the? Like, listen to this random question, like. Do I know how to do my own laundry? Who what? is it? A 12 year old made this question? Does Rose know how to do her own laundry? Uh, As her roommate. Does she? Does she <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a pretty crazy question. Do you know that's how to stupid. do your own laundry? Who yeah. doesn't know how to do their own laundry? I mean, I think Some a 12-year-old made these questions. Yeah. yeah. 340, that's how well do you know me questions for couples or friends? Really? That is mm -hmm. crazy. That is nuts. Can you imagine if you asked that to um, someone that you're dating? Like, do I know how to do my own laundry? Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Um, who is my celebrity crush? <laughs> I don't think I know this. Your celebrity crush? Or like anyone that I used to have a celebrity crush. Like I know a one from long time ago. Okay, not oh. that one. I think I know which one <laughs> Well, no, because it's better. It has to be a Hollywood one. Oh. Okay, I'm going to put one down. And I think, I think this is a good one. <laughs> I okay. I don't think I know. My answer's locked in. Just guess. Put something in. Put something down. I can't. I'm blanking. I'm blanking out. I don't know who. Crap. <laughs> oh, oh, that gave me another idea. I don't know if I should change oh, my answer. Oh, you want to answer. No, no, you can't. I don't know if I'm getting his right name right. Just guess. Okay, okay. Okay, are you locked down? Yes. Okay, what is it? So I said George Clooney. <laughs> I thought, you, I, thought you, I thought you mentioned to me that you liked him one time. You are like, oh, oh George Clooney, he's so good looking for, you know, an older man. I mean, man. yeah, I, I probably have said that before, and I agree, he he is a good looking old man. Mm. Grand Hugh. 
Grant. <laughs> Hugh, it's Hugh Grant. Hugh, Hugh Grant. Grant. Whatever, Hugh Grant. Grant you. I Grant. think Hugh Grant is closer than George Clooney. Yeah, I mean, I, was I actually do Grant. think. I actually do think I, like physically, I probably find at least back then George, George Clooney, Clooney a little bit better. more attractive. Mm -hmm. But I never had a crush on George Clooney. So who was your crush? Oh, yeah, who is it? No, who's Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh. You know this. Angela gets this point. What? <laughs> Look, George Clooney is like a very sexy <laughs> old man, and he he was very hot, but I never crushed on him. Okay, I'm done this uh, game now, guys. <laughs> oh god, Fuck, I knew this too. Uh, anyways, <sighs> Grant Hugh is my crush. Hugh Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd do this. I knew you'd say something. Like that. Oh, that's so. Funny. I don't know my celebrities. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> Have I ever traveled in first class? Oh. <laughs> God. Locked in. This oh, is a that's quick. tricky one. Okay, yeah. No. No. Guys! <laughs> I have traveled first class! I think in Switzerland you went first no, class. No, not Switzerland. But do you know me at all? When did you travel first class? Yeah! Uh, twice! What? But I never oh. paid for it. What? I told you I got upgraded. Oh, uh, I don't remember this. Went oh my god, back where? in back in high school. Okay, that's so See, long I'm not gonna know that. <laughs> um, excuse me, I'm sure I have told you at some point. Okay? I'm sure I've so told you at some long point. Ago. You knew me in high school. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so so long ago. So I used to go to Korea often, mm -hmm. and every time I went to Korea, I flew with Asiana Airlines. Okay. So because of that, I flew. I had a lot of miles, and I think I was in like you know like when you travel a lot, you get like the membership statuses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why they upgraded me, and you know, because I was travel traveling by myself as well quite often. Yeah. Right. So twice this happened where they had like an extra seat in like first class. Yeah. And they just bumped me up oh, twice. Very nice. Look at you. And I felt so like high roller. No, I, I felt like a peasant <laughs> up there. I was like. Oh my god, I feel like I, I don't, you know when you feel like you don't belong yes. in this club? Yeah. <laughs> you just don't you're feel like, comfortable Yeah, you're like, like I can't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> you're like there, but you're like, am I allowed to order from this menu? Yeah. <laughs> this actually happened to my dad, so he like, apparently you can like bid on first class tickets now or something, oh. or you can like, or you can like, I don't know if it's business class or first class, one yeah. of the two, and basically I think it was with WestJet or another airline, but you can yeah. like, put in like a, a bid and pay like, I don't know, what it, whatever, five, 600 bucks. Oh. And it's way cheaper than what it would be to actually fly yeah. it. And, and this is only if you already have a ticket on the plane. Yeah. And what they'll do is they'll randomly like select people that have bidded mm -hmm. and then they can get the tickets for that price. Like oh. they just pay the like thing. And so my dad did this and he got like upgraded. But how to, like, much more did he pay? Like maybe 600 bucks. That's a lot. I <laughs> Nothing, but no, like, no, no, it is a lot, but I mean, for to, to fly in business class, it's not a lot. Where was he going to and from? He was going to England. I still think that's a yeah. lot. Yeah, if I was because like, how much, something. like, how much is is it uh, otherwise? Like, how much money did he save? I have no idea. Probably not that much. Oh, He's so over a grand. <laughs> no, no, it's it's a lot. Business class is a lot. A lot it's a lot, but like, was it business like, class or first class? I can't remember which one now. You be putting pressure on me, question me. <laughs> Have you ever flown first class? Nope. Have no. you? Never. Oh, so sad, you know? <laughs> I'm ahead by two. You are, yeah, you're winning. Is it only by two? <laughs> yes, only by two. I love two. how you're keeping track. I know, I am keeping track. <laughs> Some of these are very obvious, you would know it. Mm. Are you sure? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when is my birthday? <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Why do I feel I like both of you are going to oh, get it wrong? Don't say oh shit, you have to know this. <laughs> I think I know. If I get this wrong, I'll be You're shocked. Like, I will be shocked. I mean, to be fair, I'm very bad at birthdays. I'm pretty bad too. So I'm, I actually took a stab. Are at you? This. Have you locked in? Locked in. Yeah. So I, October seventh. Yeah, October seventh. Oh, okay. oh. Is it right? Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Just, just okay. a guess on my part. <laughs> How many different colors have I dyed my hair? <laughs> Let's do that. How many oh, colors? God. Oh God. What colors? Have I dyed my hair? I have to cut. You have to write them out. Colors? What colors? Since when? Since let's say since uh, London. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Name all the colors. Name it. <laughs> yes. London Lock was a long time ago, like five years ago, right? Locked, locked yeah. in. I think. I might have missed a color though. Hold on. Let me know when you're ready. I should just stalk your Instagram and I'll know. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, name it. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. Okay, so I think it's four different colors. Oh. So in London, you were red. Yeah. Then you came back to Calgary and you went pink. 
and then you went blue, and then you went green. Your answer? Red, pink, blue, and I don't know why I wrote black. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is the most, what is the color I have right now? <laughs> oh, green. Well, yeah, I'll get blue. <laughs> You're, all blue missing one. You're all missing That's one. What color am I missing? We're not missing oh, one. Missing? oh, 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 oh. Purple? Yes. Uh, you purple too? <clears throat> so I had purple before I had pink. Yeah, oh. I forgot about I forgot about the purple. Because the purple was They're like a short. So it was a short It was time. a very short mm -hmm. phase. The pink, because it was red. It's not like the green that I have right now yeah. that Agile forgot. Mm -hmm. so. You know. <laughs> so, I was thinking blue is the same thing as green. The purple was so short though. That's why I didn't remember it. Okay, Daniel. No. Right, yeah. Daniel gets the point. They're all so similar. Okay, all <laughs> by one. <laughs> okay, should I do one more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, pick one of those. Have a sip. I've been having Sip many, time. many sips <laughs> throughout this whole time. Mm. I'm up by one, so if Are you, you up by one? So if if I... you win, though, you eat tie. So we have to do okay, two more. Okay, fine. If you tie, then we'll do okay. another. But if you win, then we'll just yeah, finish it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. 40 questions to ask your BFF. Ooh. Okay, so that could be a good one. What am I most afraid of? <laughs> <You're afraid. laughs> He's like, this ain't <laughs> <Jennifer, nothing." laughs> Hang on, let me just think here. What are you most afraid of? This is so fun, guys. This is really hard. <laughs> What's my biggest fear? Do you have an answer, Angela? I think I do. I don't think it's the right one. What's <laughs> your fucking biggest fear? I don't know. Um, my friend's not knowing anything about me. <laughs> no, but this is actually hard. Like, it is hard. Know, I actually know, don't know. I don't even know what my biggest fear is, to be honest. Like, I definitely know what my biggest fear is. Okay, so I've locked in, but I think this is, is wrong. Is this really deep? Uh, it depends on how you look at it, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's not that deep. Okay. So. <laughs> Do you want me to go? Yeah. Yes. Your biggest fear is death. <laughs> Falling off the mountain. <laughs> what? I love it. I'm dying. <laughs> Falling off the mountain. Oh, that is so specific. I know. You got it right. Oh, My that's biggest the same fear is thing. It's, yeah. it's really not the same thing. <laughs> no. I mean, it, I mean it, you could die yes, from falling off yes, the mountain. Yes, so. but it's not the only way you could die. <laughs> yeah. So, and oh, it's probably not the worst way to die. That's so. true. <laughs> oh god. So we're gonna, have to falling do, we're gonna do another question. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're tired like, now. Crying. That was amazing. that was amazing. <laughs> falling off the mountain. <laughs> She realized after you answer, she realized how simple the answer should be. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I remember about us talking about it the other day and us both getting right. into it and then being like, oh God, let's not talk about this. Yes, yes, that's true. <laughs> I laugh at myself. Falling <laughs> <laughs> off the mountain. I love it. I love that it. That was cute. <laughs> when were we most disappointed by Rose? <laughs> no, I don't want that. No, I have a good answer for that. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> no, we need one to do we a need tie breaker. Them, yeah. For a tie We could just say we could just say all's fair in love and war. We have a, we had a um, we had a tie. No, no, oh. that doesn't. Work. <laughs> we just like happy to happy medium. Angela is very I'm um, competitive. competitive. Yes. Yeah. What's my favorite movie? What? Oh, I know that. Oh, I think I know it. Oh, this is easy. easy. It's too easy. Okay, it might be another time. Wait, just let's just. I see. don't think Daniel's gonna. <laughs> He's been first. typing too long. Yeah. What is it? When Harry met Sally. Titanic. Angela's correct. <laughs> ah, no! And you, as soon as you started typing, typing so long. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, why did you get forever to write Titanic? <laughs> I mean, you're close though. When Harry met Sally is my favorite rom com. <laughs> <laughs> I win! <laughs> Angela wins. Angela knows you better. Yes. Drinks on Daniel. Yeah. yeah. Why well, did bring the wine? Oh, that's so, true. Did. Drinks were already on me, so. That's really good. Thanks, Daniel. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm -hmm. That's good. Oh, we should play this with like you guys next time. Oh god. Oh, actually, well, I would know both of you, but I would win either. Yeah, you would. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's yeah. not. It would yeah. be a fair uh, challenge. <laughs> Anyways, shall we say goodbye? Yes. I think so. Yeah. <sighs> All right, you guys. So hopefully that was entertaining. It was definitely entertaining for us. Mm -hmm. um, 
Let us know down below what your thoughts were. Leave a nice comment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hopefully don't no hate. hate. <laughs> no hate. Please. No hate comments. Uh, don't forget to check out all of our podcasts. Ooh, oh my yeah. god, we are all podcasters. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, we will link Angela's podcast and also me and Daniel's podcast, which we will soon have Angela on as a guest. Yes. I'm sure. Yes. Um, which will be fun. Mm -hmm. Angela's podcast is called The Why Moments, and our pop. <laughs> I think I'm drunk. <laughs> our podcast is called The Savage Podcast. Yes. yes. So, so check those out if yeah. you guys want more of us, mm -hmm. which I mean, why, why would you not? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. exactly. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you guys. Ha uh, no, let's do that again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out the health and fitness bundle. The link is below. Today is the last day for you to get this price, so don't miss out.